obviously it's not that fast. I mean, yes, the engine does have a turbocharger, but it's only 700 cc's, and really, that's the kind of thing you put in a motorised pencil sharpener. 0 to 60 takes 10.9 seconds, which is about three weeks, and the top speed is 109. Ooh. I hate the gearbox as well. You select fourth and wait, and there it is, and then you select third and... <laughs> Come on, there we go. God, it's slow. Of all the semi-automatic gearboxes, this is by far the worst, but it takes more than some slow-mo cogs and a minuscule engine to spoil the fun. such a very well balanced car. It feels absolutely alive. Flick it in one way, flick it round the other. I feel that grip's fantastic. You do have to be a little bit wary of the fact that it is mid-engine, you know, like a Ferrari. And then if you're not quick, it will bite your hand off. Everybody should try their hands at driving something this light. Weight just kills all the fun, really, in modern motoring, and this just weighs nothing. I just love it. And I love the roof even more. See, when you've finished clowning around in the sunshine, you take the roof bars and then they clip in like that on that side and then you clip this one in by putting the prongs in there like that pull the handle down and that's in and then you simply push a button and the rest of the roof slides electrically out of its little cubby hole in the boot clever eh at 14000 pounds the smart is far from being cheap, but it is fun.